everyone, my name is Zamber. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and deciding to watch with me. Today we have more miraculous ladybug news to talk about, which I'm very excited for. As you guys may or may not know, it is said that the season six of Miraculous Ladybug will be starting to air in quarter four of this year, sometime around the fall, getting into winter time, which I'm very excited for. But at the licensing expo it was said that a trailer for the season dropped unfortunately there was no photography or videography allowed so we do not know what that trailer entailed but i'm very excited for whenever it gets shown to the public to see where we are going to be going for season six but do not worry everybody because we got more wonderful ladybug news first off we got announced a second actual console game for Marcus Ladybug, which as you guys have seen, I had a interesting time when we first played <laughs> the first game. It broke a lot on the Switch. Wait, I have to talk to Ollie again? You know what to do. Oh. I talked to Ollie already. Why is it not updating? Ollie, please talk to me. Ollie, please talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. I, you know, it's kind of sad to say, but I did kind of waste <laughs> like five hours playing this just to get soft locked. <sighs> that tilting. Quack. But I am hopeful that the new game, Miraculous Paris Under Siege, that is actually coming out in quarter four as well this year, will be uh, a more enjoyable experience. I'm excited to see what they may have learned from the first game it will be available out on playstation 5 as well so i'm hyped it'll be in november that that comes out so you guys know your girl will be playing it and we will see how that one goes for us <laughs> but the most exciting news of all is that we have finally got more information about the kind of rumored brand new miraculous world special that has been slated for quarter four as well it was originally labeled the end of ladybug which got all of us maybe a little bit scared about why a special would be called that but as we have gotten more news and information the title has changed for us <laughs> It is now officially called Miraculous World London at the Edge of Time, which I think they're trying to take a Spider-Man sort of vibe with it again, which I don't necessarily mind. But we got a look at two different posters at the Licensing Expo, which I think is very interesting. So it shows us a lot of uh, clips and glimpses from the Season 5 finale which allows us to understand that it's going to take place sometime in season five. So maybe a better way to bridge the gap between five and six, if this one technically counts towards the canon of the show. We aren't entirely sure. But I think the most interesting thing about these posters is number one, we see young Bunnex. So young Alex is there meaning we're going to get to team up with her again, figure out things, some timey-wimey stuff as we do, <laughs> which I am very excited to have Alex kind of step up, especially young Bun X, to see what shenanigans we get into. And of course, in this poster, we see a, kind of a, a ghost face figure, which is someone we really haven't encountered I'll be interested in this to figure out who this is, if they maybe are a new entity going on. So this poster gives us a little bit of a hint towards that, along with showing Gabriel. But I think they do show us in the other poster, again, young Bun X, the kiss scene. We have Gabriel making his wish, but we also have Lila in this one, which I think is very interesting. So as we have kind of talked and we have gotten some semblance of a synopsis that Marinette, now Chronobog, and Bun X must save the future by resolving the mystery of who discovered Marinette's identity as Ladybug, when and how they stole her... Uh, 
how they stole her miraculous. Concerning. Concerning. Throughout the adventure, they learn that the butterfly miraculous has a new holder and one who unraveled the ultimate secret. Ladybug's only hope is to defeat her opponent to prevent the end of Ladybug, which is so dramatic. I am so excited to see where we are going to go with that. And from that alone, it does sound like this is canon. It sounds like a pretty odd time that this wouldn't be kind of connected into the story. I'm very curious. In in these posters, we can kind of see that Marinette does have this yellow green hue over her outfit, insinuating that she is going to have a different form about her, which I'm excited for. I love, love, love every kind of um, union that they do for the different outfits. So very excited for that, but also very nervous for this one. It's going to be very dramatic. Um, some additional little bit of spoilers that we've learned. We've seen some of the actors kind of in the booth recording for the English dub of it. Uh, some of them being, of course, um, Bryce, who voices Cat Noir, Keith, who is our Gabriel Agress. I was going to say Hawk Moth, but I guess technically not really Hawk Moth anymore, huh? <laughs> Hasn't actually been Hawk Moth for a while, but you know. <laughs> and Chloe's voice actors as well. So very interesting little group of characters that we have shown. And of course, Christina V, the queen, <laughs> our Marinette Dupin Chang. So I'm very, very excited for this special. I absolutely love the last one. It was so good and just visually beautiful and kind of getting the reverse Marinette as well was just interesting. Um, by far my favorite special. And so with that one alone going into this one, I will admit my expectations are maybe a little bit higher because I really like that. So if this one kind of blends in with that last one and is the same quality as the last miraculous world, I am so, so excited for this one. And of course, if we are dealing with Lila and kind of what's going on with Lila, it makes sense, especially with kind of the stuff we saw at the end of season five, where Lila kind of turned around. It sounded like maybe like a, a portal or something opened up and she was kind of being, you know, scared. It would make sense then having this special, because if we are dealing with kind of the chrono bug stuff, time figuring all that out it makes a lot more sense but that is only if it is canon only if it is canon we do not have that information yet but i'm so excited for that so i'm hyped for miraculous especially for the fall of course guys i am still going to wait for the english dub of all miraculous. I know I'm so excited to watch it with you all, but I am going to wait just because I am so far committed to the English dub and I just enjoy it a little bit more because I've just gotten used to the cast members. So keep that in mind. So if there's any spoilers, things like that, keep it out of here. <laughs> so thank you guys so much. I, I know I'm a little bit bleh today. I have a wedding this weekend, so kind of just been running around everywhere. But I had to talk about Miraculous. You guys know I love Miraculous. So I wanted to share this all with you and let you know my thoughts and opinions and to make sure I'm aware of the video game. You don't have to message me anymore. We're gonna play it together. Don't worry. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching and I can't wait for more Miraculous with you all. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and of course, maybe go watch some of my reactions because it's a fun time. <laughs> and I'll see you all later.